50 years of toughness, power, and glory. That's the Vikings franchise. The stars of yesteryear are forever ingrained into the memories of Vikings fans. It's now time to pay homage to one of the greatest players of our time as he is inducted into the Vikings Ring of Honor. Following a stellar career at the University of Pittsburgh, Chris Dolman was selected by the Minnesota Vikings with the fourth overall pick in the 1985 NFL Draft. I was, I was kind of surprised. You know, the draft was, went pretty quickly for me. And, you know, it started off, Bruce Smith was already taken. Uh, number three player was Ray Childress. He was already going to Houston. Bruce went to Buffalo. And uh, Atlanta had, uh, no, Minnesota had the second pick, and Atlanta had the fourth pick, and they switched positions. And uh, Atlanta took Bill Fralick. Number four went to, uh, was me, and went to Minnesota. So coach called me, by, everything was done by 8.30. So I, I um, asked the coach, I said, you want me to come in and, you know, meet the press and, you know, meet the staff? And uh, he said, no, we'll call you back. So I was all disappointed. All my other friends, they were catching planes later on that day and flying out to the respective teams and, you know, doing press conferences. And I was about a day late. Dolman was a focused competitor who had position flexibility as a linebacker or defensive end. And he clearly had a special talent, sacking the quarterback. Chris Dolman uh, was the prototypical football player at defensive end and particularly at pass rush for that particular time. First of all, he had an unbelievable get off. He could explode out of his stance uh, and you have to do that. He always had the tackle off balance because he could get up field so fast. He was relentless, you know. Uh, he used his hands so well in what he did off the edge and uh, you got to include him in the, in the list of players that kind of revolutionized that DN, that, that pass rushing, you know, forte. Uh, secondly, he had great lean. I have never coached a football player in my life with the lean that Chris Doman had. And I think if you ask anybody during that era about Chris Doman, that's one of the first things they see. He's, he's going wide open with his body leaning almost uh, unbelievably uh, uh, off balance, yet he's in total balance. Doman had that move when he worked up field. He could stick that arm out the way he leaned into you. He could get his arm into the middle of the lineman's chest just drive him back to the quarterback. And, and I know it worked well against other, some guys. And uh, like I said, I know, I know him and Wiggins and all those guys always talk about what can you do to beat a guy. And the third thing he had was he, he every once in a while, he'd drill him. He'd overpower him and just collapse the, the tackle into the quarterback. But Chris had the perfect package and it was all based on his great athleticism. We had to get to the quarterback. You know, they didn't pay to, to play football. They paid you to win football games. So I took that very seriously. I mean, I worked on my game pretty much every waking hour. Dolman's 150 and a half sacks are fourth most in NFL history. Only Bruce Smith, Reggie White, and Kevin Green have more. 1989 was perhaps the most prolific season in Dolman's career, as he tallied 21 sacks, the most in a single season in Vikings history, and third most in NFL history. Chris is, without question, a great pass rusher. When you think about 150 and a half sacks, I think that's fourth in history. 24 fumble recoveries, 45 cause fumbles. I don't know, they don't rank that. I don't think anyone's ever done that. He, he played with a group of guys that they all wanted to get there. They all worked hard together. I mean, that whole D-line was something else. And I think when I came in, it was Dolman, Millard, Martin, Hank, and all those guys in there. And they had this thing that year when it was like meet at the quarterback and, and they all were going for it. There's so much potential that can happen on that one play. It's tough to get there and so when you get there it's one of the, it's probably one of the most thrilling things you can do. But I learned early, very early, that you know I treated everybody as if they were Anthony Munoz and all pro. They're the best that ever played. And because that way you never got caught sleeping at the switch. Because anybody can stop you from getting to the quarterback. In addition to his significant sack and fumble totals, he managed to amass over a thousand tackles in his career. Chris Dolman was a complete player. He was so gifted. I mean, uh, he, uh, what a treat for me as a coach to be able to have guys like Chris Dolman and Henry Thomas and Keith Millard and Noga and those guys during that era. No one's done it like Chris. I mean, it, he was the first one I seen that can work that move out there and do that, the things that he did. And, uh, you, see, you see flashes up there now, some of the young players, but not too much. 
After nine seasons with the Purple, Dolman spent two seasons in Atlanta and three in San Francisco before retiring. But early in the 1999 season, Dolman came out of retirement to play one final year with the Vikings. When I retired uh, from the 49ers, you know, you kind of like say, okay, you know, there's only one team that I ever play for again, basically, you're saying, and that's, you know, Minnesota. It's just a wonderful thing where to know that, you know, I got 60,000 people here that got my back, you know, against the, you know, what we're doing here. So it, it makes you feel good. Um, I love them. Uh, they've been very good to me. They've been very good to my family, and uh, I appreciate every minute I spent here. His final sack came against the future Hall of Fame quarterback from Green Bay, Brett Favre. I knew that I was going to be able to get, get to him, um, hit Brett, strip the ball, cause the fumble, we get the ball. You know, it was a special moment. It was a special moment. While he may be known best for his sack totals, Dolman was also known as a leader. He was constantly watching film, trying to perfect his technique. His preparation was a huge influence on his teammates and his approach was consistent week in and week out. Get to the quarterback, disrupt the offense, and win. You know, I treated it like a business. Um, I treated it where that, uh, you know, they were paying you like an executive, and I think you need to take that kind of approach to it. He studied his opponent. I mean, they, they broke film down. They looked for all these little things on you. And then when it became game time, it was, second nature, you just did it, because you knew what the guy was going to do before he did it. And I think you, you see some players still do that now today, but it's not like it was then when you actually really broke that guy down, where you wanted to know what he was going to do before he even did it. You, you have to have an intelligence for the game. You uh, just to kind of know, you know, you, you got to know an anticipation of, of when you can get a jump on somebody. But I think the biggest, the biggest thing that all great pass rushers have is a, is a desire to do whatever it takes to get to the quarterback. And one of the things that he did in practice is he worked against uh, Zimmerman. They went hard against each other and they made each other better. Uh, we were all competitors. Uh, that, is, that is the big thing. We made each other better. Uh, we worked hard every day and we would get on each other if, uh, if you weren't giving your all. And um, I think that's what you need to, to build that kind of camaraderie and love and respect that you have between your, your teammates. Dolman was selected to eight Pro Bowls was a first-team All-Pro in both 1989 and 1992, and was named to the NFL Team of the Decades for the 1990s. Being inducted into the Minnesota Vikings Ring of Honor is the highest honor that can be bestowed upon a Viking. It recognizes the best of the best. These Vikings alumni are part of our community, our history, and will live forever in the hearts of our fans. This weekend's induction of Chris Dolman further strengthens the rich and glorious tradition of the Minnesota Vikings franchise. Congratulations, Chris, and welcome to the Ring of Honor.